Have you talked to your kids about vaping? The Centers for Disease Control is investigating more than 100 cases of lung disease possibly linked to vaping. Yeah, so basically if you haven't had this conversation yet with your kids, you need to do it because e-cigarette use is actually very common among kids, some as young as the sixth grade because they believe it's harmless. So our Rosemary Belts is here with some pointers that parents can use to talk to their kids about vaping and also tell if your child is vaping behind your back. Rose, what'd you find out? Thank you, Andrea. Well, e-cigarettes are battery-powered devices delivering nicotine and flavorings in an aerosol form. So research found e-cigarettes may likely be significantly less harmful for adults than smoking regular cigarettes. But research also shows using any tobacco product is unsafe for young people. The reason? Nicotine is very addictive and can harm brain development, which continues until about age 25. According to the CDC and FDA, the use of e-cigarettes dramatically increased in high schools by 78% in the last year, and 48% more middle school students are vaping. So how are kids hiding the habit? Pay attention to shapes. Some e-cigarettes look like flash drives or regular writing pens and can blend in with school supplies. Pediatricians say parents may notice increased thirst. Vaping is hydroscopic, meaning it removes water from the mouth, skin, and throat. Nosebleeds are also common due to dryness. To dryness, Craving flavor, experts call it vapor's tongue. If your child, child reaches for salt or craves spicy food, that's another clue. Parents may notice their child has acne flare-ups, decrease in caffeine use, Nicotine and caffeine can cause anxiety. Most vaping users cut back on caffeine to avoid those side effects and pneumonia. The microscopic particles in e-cigarettes can lead to lung inflammation and infections. If your child is carrying some unfamiliar looking tech, ask, ab ask about it. Experts say families with a history of addiction should pay close attention. E-cigarettes can often be a gateway to consuming traditional tobacco or other drugs. Bottom line, with the start of the new school year, take time to talk about this new trend. In the studio, I'm Rose Marie Belts. Back to you. All right, Rose, thank you so much. Again, it all goes back to talking to your kids.